Kristen King, and welcome to Markets and Minds, the show where we break down big macro themes into simplified trade ideas. The price action in recent weeks has been choppy, as can be expected around a hotly contested presidential election. While markets are up at the moment, that can change quickly in such a volatile environment. So how can we tell if a sell-off is just a much-needed correction or the start of a larger downward move or even a crash in the markets? One way we can try to answer that question is to examine some indicators and gauges of market dynamics, which can tell us exactly what's happening under the hood. For example, we can look at the ratio of stocks that are trading above key moving averages. That ratio can tell us a good deal, particularly if we look at sectors which have been the biggest gainers over 2020 to date, such as the consumer discretionary sector. Data shows that around 78% of stocks in the sector were above their 50-day moving average on October 23rd, but just under a week later, that number had fallen to just 30%. Looking at the information technology sector, we find that around 72% of stocks in the sector were above their 50-day moving average on the 23rd of October, but only 30% remained above that average by the 29th. At one point during that time, the number fell as low as 26%. For the S&P 500 index as a whole, looking back, we find that between October 12th and the 29th, the percentage of stocks above their 50-day moving average slumped from 77% to just 25%. This shows us just how broad-based the recent downside move in the equity markets has been. We can also examine the number of advancing versus declining stocks, and in doing so, we find that 86% of NASDAQ stocks were down in price on the 28th of October, whilst just 13% advanced. Over the river at the NYSE, 92% of stocks fell and just 7% of NYSE-listed stocks advanced during that period. Another aspect to consider are volatility indices, which track the degree of fear in the markets. The VIX index, which tracks volatility within the S&P 500 stocks, rose by more than 36% over the last week of October, and over the last year, it is up by more than 190%. The higher this index is, then the more fearful equity traders are said to be. Previous pullbacks in equity markets have proved out to be buying opportunities, as was the last week of October. Some traders will have watched to see a trend of gainers begin to outpace decliners and a rise in the percentage of stocks above their 50 and 200-day moving averages before getting back into the market. That, combined with a turnaround in the VIX, would have given them confidence of a turnaround and not positioning for another leg lower. That's all we have time for today, folks. To find out more about our TrackStar IQ data, sign up to our free newsletter at investingchannel.com slash TrackStar. As always, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.